hello this is the final and important lesson in the python for power finance the portfolio optimization or how to select uh, the optimized portfolio كيف تختار احسن بورتفوليو او البورتفوليو المثالي للاستثمارات او الاستثمارات we learned how to calculate the main metrics to analyze and evaluate a portfolio of stocks now we can use the power of python to optimize a portfolio portfolio optimization is the technique of allocating assets so that it has a maximum return and a minimum risk this can be done by finding the allocation that results in the maximum sharp ratio the simplest way to find the best allocation is to check many random allocations and find the one that has been the best chart chart ratio the best chart ratio so this process or the simplest way or the this process of randomly guessing is known as the monte carlo simulation okay so it's a simple quiz uh, the portfolio optimization to optimize our portfolio we will use the Monte Carlo optimization or simulation which uses random weights so to get started let's define the initial stocks download the price data and calculate the daily return is by this simple code and uh, then we need to store the weight returns and the sharp ratios uh, for each portfolio we will be checking so that we can then find the one that is best we will define lists to store these values for each portfolio for each portfolio we will uh, store uh, an element so uh, this uh, for uh, these four arrays or lists which will contain each one will contain one array of the portfolios corresponding to portfolios so if each portfolio each one portfolio consists of four things okay and uh, we have 500 portfolios so this bracket define an empty list let's check here simply we imported just three libraries Y finance numbai and bandas and we have here two arrays one for the stocks and the other uh, for the stock prices this is the name of the companies or the codes of the companies we have apple amazon microsoft and tesla and here we will uh, uh, download the prices for each uh, or the uh, respectively the four companies from uh, uh, january uh, 2018 okay so then we'll complete the daily returns data equal data close close prices and x uh, equals a percentage return daily return uh, daily return then we'll print x this is the x's will be printed yes from uh, the uh, 2nd of january uh, 2018 till uh, today 1 of july 2022 we have about 1133 rows times four columns this is the matrix let's go and complete the lesson so the brackets this mean an empty list is created using the brackets and um, an empty uh, list created by empty brackets portfolio optimization now we hear the in the third of the lesson we are going to randomly assign a weight to each stock in our portfolio and then calculate the matrix for that portfolio including the sharp ratio to generate random weights we will use the num by random function so we will use this simple code wts num by dot random dot uniform size equals the length of x dot columns uh where x l here matrix tightness WTS equals WTS ala, or divided by number dot sum little weights. Let's try. So we have already imported the three libraries, and just we have here the simple code for this for com uh, computing the random uh, uh, 
how to create or divide create a number uh, random random weights so we divide the resulting weights by their sum to normalize them so that the sum of the random weights is always one running the code above will generate random weights the sum up to one let's run so we have the weights here if we submit some them it will be equal one so the greatest one was here and then this one then one and the least one is the first one for the apple this is randomly let's go in order to result in total calculation of 100 percent the weight should add up to one okay random now we need to run a for loop for loop to generate random weights and calculate the returns returns volatility volatility returns or volatility and sharp ratio of the portfolio we already learned how to calculate this matrix so here comes the code we just here add the uh, for loop and we will discuss this code inside the for loop the for loop runs 500 times during each iteration we calculate the matrix and store them in the corresponding lists using the append function we use 500 to optimize the time to run the code in our playground in other scenarios you could generate thousands of portfolios to get the better result the code seems long and complex however it simply calculates the matrix using their formulas that we have seen before and store them in their lists so this is the band which will increase the the, the 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 items of the arrays when every time we execute the for loop let's here go to uh, to the next step or, or or we can discuss this now so in each time we calculate uh, we execute this for loop we'll go through these steps these steps is arranged in in about five stages the first stage for create a number uh, uh, weights randomly and increase this weight and the uh, uh, b weights array or a string then calculate the returns for this weight and this add this return to the b return array using the append uh, function and then calculate the volatility volatility which is a تقلب معدل التقلب والريت volatility equals the parent function of the weight of the sum and the annual uh, standard division times the square root around the year working days in the year then we add this volatility to the b risk to the b risk array using the append function as before and then we calculate the sharp ratio the sharp ratio the sharp sharp ratio is very important because if when it's increased the investment is increased so the sharp ratio uh, calculated by calculating the mean of the returns divided by the standard divisions of the returns and all multiplied by the square root of the working days in the year which is 252 days sharp then increase the sharp array by this value until we will do this 500 times so we have five uh, four arrays each one has 500 elements what are these arrays lb weights for the weights and lb returns for the returns and lb risk for the volat volatilities and lb sharp for the sharp braids elements each one of array of 500 elements let's go now we have the matrix of or for 500 portfolios 
Let's find the index of the portfolio with maximum sharp ratio using the num by arg maximum function and output the maximum sharp ratio and the weights. Maximum underscore end equals num by dot arg max of B sharp. Maximum sharp ratio. Then we'll print the B max of the maximum index. Okay, we have matrix or array of B sharp. We will select the maximum B sharp from using the maximum index, and we have also the weights will print the B weight maximum index. The B weight. So first of all, we calculate the maximum index using the argument max of B sharp. So I have the maximum B sharp, then I will get the index of this maximum B sharp from the B sharp array. And then I will print its B sharp, its B sharp, and its weight. So the B sharp of the maximum B sharp and the weight of the maximum B sharp. Oh. Let's try. We have all this. Uh, the three function, uh, the three libraries which we imported. Why, why finance? Yeah, finance. Number number by Bison Ubandas la, library. And we have the two arrays of stock and data downloaded as the prices of the stocks. The four companies: Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Tesla. And then we have uh, uh, the prices in the data. And uh, uh, we calculate the returns using the BCT change function. And then we initialize it for strings for containing the four arrays, the B weights, the B returns, the B risk, and B sharp. Now we have the loop, which is uh, 500 elements. Start with the counter K, and range from zero to 500, their count. We calculate the weights. We, we discussed this before, calculate the returns, calculate the volatilities, and establish the array of each one, one by one, until we finish the 500 elements. And the sharp ratio array, or the B-sharp array, and now here, this is the new. We get the maximum, or the index of the maximum value in the B-sharp, using the argument max, because we need this because this is the optimum. This is the optimized investment. When I get the maximum sharp, this is, uh, is the key for the optimum or the optimal, optimum, optimal investments, optimal portfolio. Then the maximum sharp ratio, print B sharp array. Uh, we need this element. We will print it using B sharp. And then we get the weight of this uh, maximum uh, sharp using the key or index maximum index maximum underscore ind now let's run oh so the maximum sharp is 1.243 this is the maximum sharp during from the year uh, or January of uh, 2018 till uh, 1 of July 2022. What its weights? The weights are these weights. We have about 24 percentage in Apple and 0.3 percentage of uh, Amazon and 0 0.3 or uh, 34 percentage in Microsoft and 41 in Tesla, 41 percentage. This around the zero, this value weight around zero in Amazon. The greatest one was in Tesla, then in Microsoft, and the least one about a quarter of the investments in the uh, uh, Apple. Okay, let's continue. Now we can plot this uh, uh, this weights. With this weights, we can plot it. And here the plot. For the plot, we will import the uh, matplotlib library. 
and use this uh, 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 plot plot uh, pl plot uh, the uh, series a uh, series function of weights well uh, index of column and then save uh, plot to a uh, save fig or plot bng image run oh this is the weight this apple the maximum one was in tesla as i said before and the next one was in microsoft and the apple and this amazon uh, neglected it's uh, near to zero let's go ahead to complete this lesson this is the greatest lesson in this uh, course it's a very important lesson we may get slightly different results each time you run the code as the weights are randomly generated every time so every time you run this code will will will, will gain different result because we get it randomly continue so what argmax return is it returns the index of the maximum value in the array so we will put in it an array and in it's a, this array contain values i will return the maximum value the index of the maximum value in this array this argmax doing portfolio optimization we found the best portfolio weights at lay at last step let's plot all 500 portfolios the chart is called efficient frontier and shows the return is on the y-axis and the volatility on the x-axis we can create the chart using the scatter scatter function providing which is in the plot uh, bison uh, plot lab uh, providing the volatility and run our returns listed as parameters let this is the code will be added to describe this uh, uh, in, 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 in a graph and the graph is very very uh, amazing so we will check it now and run and check this uh, code we use additional parameters to make the chart prettier and data a color bar for the sharp ratio we have also added a red star maker to the chart showing the most efficient portfolio with the best sharp ratio this is very important the most efficient portfolio with the best sharp ratio will be in the red star marker so here we have two parts the first part for plotting using lplt function and the scatter, scatter function we have the b risk the b risk which is the 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 the, the, the volatility uh, it will be in x axis and the b returns the b returns will be in the y axis and l b sharp uh this will be uh the 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 uh, the, uh, the third uh, uh, the third the third dimension which will be, will be parallel in vertical and the label will be sharp ratio okay it will be color color bar and scatter will draw another drawing it is just one point we have will be risk uh, it's just one element will be risk of the maximum end في ال x والكورسبوند بتاعتها في ال y اللي هي ال b returns sorry uh, b returns في ال y برضه this is uh, these two uh, arguments for one point the color بتاعتها will be red والماركر هيكون استرك هتبقى على شكل ايه نجمه وطبعا s 500 عشان انا ايه بختار من 500 elements والبلوت شو شو هيوديني كل الاثنين دول ال two two diagrams in one diagram let's try this all the code the, the code the old code all the all the code each time we increase some steps this is the new steps which a which increased now and run this is the diagram
this is the uh, these points is the first part of the diagram or this one diagram and the second the diagram or figure is a asterisk which we calculate so this this part is the first for drawing all these points in these colors from yellow uh, and note when the color is yellow more yellow color the more sharp the more investments and when it's near the blue it's low investment it's low sharp ratio so it's a very low invest maybe very very low okay uh, this uh, a star this is the best the best investment this is the best uh, weights for the best uh, sharp ratio in our data in our uh, uh, optimized data or random data we uh, uh, we did using this part the plotter or the drawing this thank you for watching this video if you need any com any question you can ask i will reply in written or in a special video Moreover, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to reach every new video we upload. Thank you for watching.